Use the binomial expansion to show that 1 minus 2x to the minus a half is approximately equal to 1 plus x plus 3 over 2x squared. Hence, find the expression of 1 square root of 1 plus 4x over 1 minus 2x in the ascending powers of x as far as the term x squared, stating the values of x which the, the expansion is valid. And find as using a suitable value of x, use the expansion to find an approximate value of root 3. Okay, so using the binomial uh, theorem, so 1 plus 2x to the minus a half will be 1 plus nx, so that will be plus minus a half x, and x being minus 2x. Next one will be minus a half minus 3 over 2 over 2 factorial times minus 2x squared. And then if we simplify that, we're going to get 1 here. This will be positive, and the, the 2s will cancel out if we get x. And here, this one will also be positive, and we're going to get 3 over 2x squared once we work this out. So the, the 4 and the 4 there will cancel, so we get 3 over 2. Right, so now we're going to expand this. So uh, this can be rewritten as 1 plus 4x to the positive a half times 1 minus 2x to the minus a half. We've already expanded this, so now I'm going to expand uh, this separately. So 1 plus 4x to the half will be 1 plus nx, so it'll be plus a half times 4x plus a half times minus a half over 2 factorial times 4x all squared. So that will be 1 plus 2x minus 2x uh, squared. This will be minus because there's only one minus sign in it. So again, the uh, it'll be 16 divided by 8 will be on the denominator because you get 4 from there and 2 from there. Right, and now in order to find the expansion of this, we just need to multiply our two terms together. So this is what we just worked out. This was given in the question. And we ignore any term greater than x squared. So the first term will be 1 times all of that. So we're just going to get 1 plus x plus 3 over 2x squared. The next one will be 2x. And we only need to do the first two because we only need x squared. So it's going to be 2x plus 2x squared. And then the last term we just need to do this. So it's minus 2x squared. That's great because these two terms now um, cancel out. So we're going to get 1 uh, x plus 2x, which is 3x plus 3 over 2x squared. So uh, 1 plus 4x to the half is valid from uh, minus 1, 4x and 1, so it'll be uh, x will be minus a quarter and a quarter. And for this one here, 1 minus 2x to the minus a half. That's going to be valid for uh, minus 2x between minus 1, which means x is between minus a half and a half. So we look at these two, which is the smaller of the two. It will be this one, and they do correspond. This is a subset of this one. So therefore, the combined expression will just be minus a quarter x to a quarter. Right, we need to put a value of x in here, so we make this now the square root of 3. So that means I need to solve uh, 1 plus 4x over 1 minus 2x is equal to 3. So you get 1 plus 4x is equal to 3 times 1 minus 2x. So 1 plus 4x will be 3 minus 6x. And therefore 10x will be equal to 2. We can put x is equal to 0 0.2. Putting it into our expression, that will be square root of 3 be approximately equal to 1 times 3 times 0 0.2 plus 3 over 2 times 0 0.2 squared, which if we bash out on our calculator, we'll get 1.66. And the actual value on the calculator is square root of 3. is about 1.73. Obviously, the more terms you have, the more accurate it will be. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to do a combined expression finding the square root using the binomial theorem and then using it to work out the square root of three. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.